everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all i got one thing to say this is it hey this time i know it's for real my last semi-annual haul of the year isn't it about time, my dears? <laughs> Y'all, I'm thinking my last video, I was like, I think I'm done. I think I'm done unless I see something online. So this is my last haul, y'all, because I've checked online, ain't nothing changing. This is the it is the last week of the sale. It, it I'm done. For real, for real, for real, okay? So I'm gonna show you my final semi-annual sale haul, the semi-annual sale, the semi-annual sale for summer 2022. So let's start with what I'm disappointed in. So I saw this lanyard online and I was like, okay, I couldn't tell if it would show my ID at work. It does not show my ID. This was 75% off. That's why I took a chance on it. So it's $3 and something. So I don't know if I'm going to take this back because I only wanted this to show my ID, to give me another one um, to use at work. And this is useless to me. So I don't know if I'm going to take it to work and like put it out, you know, on a table where anybody can pick up something you don't want or if I'm going to return it. For three dollars i mean i don't know i am y'all i'm tired of going to bath and body works <laughs> so ugh, i don't know yet but yeah this is a disappointment to me because i couldn't tell online if it would and i was reading the reviews and nobody was saying because some people were like yeah i carry my id with me to work this is what i do maybe they meant just their license or so i don't know because what's the point you have to show your you know your picture id at work so this is useless to me. So I'm a little annoyed with that. So that was a Bopis order. And that was the only thing. No, no, it wasn't. What? No. That I was, I'm trying to show you the stuff on sale before I get to some other things I purchased. So one of my subscribers was, was like, Sun Kiss is different this year. It smells different. So I decided to get it. So let's see. This has notes of sun drenched orange blossom, sparkling sea salt, vanilla breeze. It has the same notes as the one I have in my collection. And so she was like, I like both of them. So I said, okay, I'll give it a try because I had like 20% off and then I wasn't really finding anything. So I said, okay, I'll give this a try. Let me see. Okay, to my nose, it smells the same as the one I have. So, will I be returning this? I don't know, because this is not a scent I really want a backup of. Yeah. It smells the same to me. Maybe a touch more floral. or florals in this? Yeah, orange blossom. I don't know. So, I'm not blown away with that one either. But, hey, it was 75% off. And I decided to go ahead and pick up a watermelon lemonade lotion because I can't remember, I don't remember having a lotion or a cream in my collection. And I'm kind of wishing I had just, I really wanted watermelon lemonade in this packaging, but I couldn't find the shower gel because I don't think I have a shower gel. I plan to check, my back has been hurting, so I plan to check my collection and see because if i decide to return those items to bath and body works and i'll go in there and then i would you know see if i could find it even though when i was in there yesterday they didn't have really anything new in there so all the soaps i bought for 350 for 75 percent off but i was like i'm not even going there i'm not even going there and dealing with that so i also decided to pick up a a pocket back holder i've been looking at this one forever and i had the 20 percent off so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get it at this time and i had to use a reward up that's another reason why i placed this order and i decided to go ahead and get this pocket back because y'all the ring one the diamond ring one i didn't get the one for this year but the whole doggone i heard of people losing the stone when well, my whole thing fell off 
of the oven. So I have to go get some Gorilla Super Glue or something and see if I can super glue it back together. But I was like, no, I don't want another ring one. So that's going to be my silver pocket back holder to go with my purse purses because I like some bling bling. And I decided to pick up some pocket back holders for myself and my brother because, like I said, I didn't have a lot on this order. So I decided to get Stay True to You, Beautiful Day. I love the little rainbow. I thought that was cute. This has been on my list for a minute, and they gave me one with the doggone thing all crooked, the label, lavender plus vanilla because I was using something, and I was loving the lavender and vanilla which surprised me. And I decided to get uh, Rainbow Waves because I like the fragrance mist. And I got my brother a couple of pocket bags because we both go through these at work. So since I, you know, I was trying to get the five for I don't know, I was getting five for, for eight dollars, but then I decided to get more because I had to reach some limit to get the 20% off. And so I got him Sport. I don't think he has that one. And I got him uh, Nor because I bought him a whole set of that for a gift. And uh, I got him Ocean. So I also decided to pick up Escape the Ordinary Pineapple Mango for me. You know, because the I was thinking the, the fragrance smiths I'm trying to use up right now are very summery, very tropical. And so I'm going to be wearing those when I go back to work in a few days. Oh! So I was like, let me get a pocket bag that won't clash with, you know, the majority of what I'm going to be wearing unless I'm going to a meeting or something. Um, this is Sea Salt and Blue Skies. Now this one I have never smelled. Oh, it just smells fresh and nice. I like that. And I decided to go ahead and get another firecracker pop. Wish I wanted to go dig in that bin when I found it for 75. No, was it? no, it's 50% off, so no big deal. And then I got another kiwi strawberry because I really liked that when I hauled it before. And with that bulbous order, I also, I, like I said, I had to use up a reward. That was the reason for this whole haul. And I decided to use it for the In The Stars um, body scrub. So that gives me my entire set of In The Stars after I used it up. So I'm good and don't have to worry about it. And like I said, I got it all for the low, low, honey. The low, low. Okay. All right. So I went in store to pick up that order and then you know you look no and in that order also i picked up two loofahs because i was like i'm down to my last bath and body works loofah so i decided to go ahead and get two more because these are my favorite Whew, all right y'all so what was i saying so yeah to pick up that order i went in store and um it seems i thought he got I want to show you what my brother picked up and I thought he got more lotions but he got the Oasis body cream and I was trying to tell him be careful with these body creams because they do tend to go bad but this was made in this year so this should be good for a minute and he picked up because I saw this and I was like oh I've never smelled frosted holly it was not for me but I was like you do you like this and he said yeah this is very, to me, green and cologne -y. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. But it has, like, a fresh, like, a tree outside aspect to it. Yeah, so he liked it. So, got that for 75% off. Everything I picked up was 75% off because when it gets... I'm not doing price adjustments. I'm not doing none of that. So I wanted to all be 75% off. And we also found some firecracker pop candles. So we got two of these because I love firecracker pop and it's a strong candle. And I just love that cherry scent. Woo, y'all know it's hot in this room. That's why I'm like, Ugh. so I went to... I'm trying to remember the order in which I got these things, y'all. So I went in to, oh, as I was going in to pick up this order, you know, what I just showed you, that's when I got all these things. So I saw a thousand wishes, the body cream and the lotion. So I decided to get both 
because I've always loved this packaging and I, I'm i not in love with A Thousand Wishes. I don't know. Some I, I, I want to give it another try. What was this cream made? And see, this cream was made in 2021, so I know I'm going to have to use this up sooner rather than later. And that's, I got the lotion because I have dark kiss and I didn't get the lotion for that because I just can't wear dark kiss everything. It's just too much for me because I have, this is the first time I've ever gotten the mist because someone requested me to do a video about dark kiss, the, the fragrance mist. And I've only ever had the shower gel and the lotion and that was potent on its own. So I'm going to use this lotion with dark kiss and see how that goes. That, that was my thinking process when I decided to get both of these because I wanted this package. <laughs> and it was 75% off. And I decided to get the glowing body scrub because this is so pretty to me. It's so pretty. I love the way it looks. And so I was like, it's 75% off. I'm gonna grab a thousand wishes body scrub even though I do not need a body scrub at all in my collection. I wish I could have found the bubble bath. I have never been able to catch the bubble bath in stock at my stores when it's on sale because I love the way it looked. I don't know how the, the new packaging is going to look. So I wish I would have found the bubble bath, but I never did. So I also found the Rose Moisturizing Body Wash. And since I got the mist, I decided to get the body wash because it was 75% off because I really did not need a rose body wash. I have rose body washes in my collection, but I decided to get it because it was 75% off. So there. Now I also picked up the Into the Night Moisturizing Body Wash and I didn't need this either because I have um, the shower gel and Into the Night is not a just... I'm not obsessed with it. And it's going to probably be a uh, spoiler alert in my fall winter project use it up because the, I've had that body cream for a minute. So I know I'm going to have to go ahead and use it up. So yeah, I didn't need this, but I've always wanted this packaging <laughs> in this body wash. It was 75% off. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get it and experience it because it's 75% off. And I didn't need this into the night bubble bath, but I'm not passing up bubble bath for 75% off. I'm just not going to do it. So I already had this in my collection and I have like a bubble bath from Victoria's Secret that kind of smells like into the night. So I really didn't need it, but I got it anyway. And I'm not sorry for it because it's 75% off. And this is usually $16. I think I can't really read the price right there. So I resisted getting the into the night body scrub even though it's 85 percent off because number one i have an into the night body scrub but i also have a tree hut scrub that smells like into the night so i was like you already have two girls so no so that was everything i picked up for 75 percent off now they had the uh holiday fourth of july sale 5.95 uh body care sale on select items so i decided to go ahead and get the full size of butterfly so i got the shower gel which has been on my list for a minute and i got the lotion and i went ahead and got the mist i was so hoping that the scrub would be on sale but it wasn't because i have um i have the bubble bath in butterfly and i love the way it smells so i wanted the scrub too and i wanted i kind of want the soap just for butterfly because it's just so pretty it's so me but y'all they didn't have those two items on sale and like i said i'm not paying 850 for a bath and body work soap so that was my final haul from bath and body works in my annual sale i enjoyed the sale and I have to be honest, I'm over the sale now. I, I'm done. I, I mean, I might check just in case to see, just because I know me, I'll still check online because of the sale, but I just don't feel like I'm going to see anything else new from Bath and Body Works. I enjoyed it and I'm over it. So y'all, I wanted to talk about the new scent, uh, Poppy. I can't remember the notes. I meant to bring my phone in here. But I did spray on two cards when every time I went in. 
it's a very pretty like sweet somewhat candy floral I like it, but I'm not in any hurry to get it. I'm waiting for them to have things available so I can use rewards because I think I've given, this is how I get after some mail sale. I feel like I've given Bath & Body Works enough of my money. So, and you have to buy something anyway, which, you know, it'll probably be another pocket back or something cheap to, to use some rewards for the new items. So I do like Poppy. I think it's very pretty. It kind of puts me in the mind, not saying that they smell exactly alike, but it puts me in the mind of Butterfly. Let me read the notes on Butterfly. It's raspberry nectar, iris petals, airy vanilla. This is a little bit sweeter to me than Poppy, but they just remind me of each other as in like a sweet, pretty, girly, feminine, ultra feminine floral scent. And I do like it. Now, what I will say is that I don't understand the release time of Poppy. Um, they're already putting out fall since semi-annual sale is over. And usually you have that transitional fragrance, you know, uh, Sunset Glow was a transition fragrance when it first came out. Then you had like Honey Wildflowers, that transition from summer to fall that they would put out. Poppy does not fit that to me. Poppy is so spring to me. It is so, really, I guess it could be any time because it's like, it's, some people just don't wear florals in the spring, but it's very, like I said, floral, sweet, a little candy sweet. Like I said, it reminds me of Butterfly, and it just does not give me transitioning into fall because you have your transition scent that they usually have, and then you, they have the fall collections that's coming out. So when I went in there, I saw marshmallow, pumpkin latte, that comes back every year. I saw champagne, apple, and honey. That comes back practically every year. And then I saw like blueberry pancakes. So they brought that one back. So I haven't seen any new. I can't remember if the blueberry pancakes is, I don't have that one in my collection. So I don't know if it's the exact same as the original, the name or anything. I'm gonna have to do, you know, look into that when they make it available to pick up so I can use a reward but i'm not in the mood for fall i know some people get super excited i am hot it's hot where i am you know i'm burning up i'm not in i'm not in the fall mindset so if you're waiting for me to review some fall stuff that's not gonna happen right now because it's july and i just don't I, i'm not interested in going now if they have it to where i can pick up the only one i haven't smelled or I can't remember how it smells, is that blueberry pancake uh, scent. I know about marshmallow pumpkin latte. You know, I know about champagne, apple, and honey. I might give them a sniff. I didn't even smell them because they were putting it out. And I was like, I'm not getting in the way because I'm not getting ready to purchase these things. I, I just don't care about fall. And I don't want to spend any more money. I should check the price to see how much that stuff is now. <laughs> so, like I said... To talk about fall or even if I'm not even going to worry about getting poppy right now. I want to use those rewards and then we'll see as what else comes out new. We're about to take a break from Bath and Body Works over here um, on my channel because that's what I normally do. I, I get burnout after the semi-annual sale. I need a break and then we'll get back into it. So I wanted to keep with the, the tradition. This is our last scent of the day for the semi-annual sale. So I'm gonna show you what, it's not what I'm wearing today because I didn't go to the store today. I went yesterday. And y'all, I just did not feel like filming after I got in from that heat. I just did not. I did not want to put on makeup. I did not want to, I just didn't. I came home and I, I laid down in front of the fan and I chilled because it is hot, okay? So, in the shower, I used my, um, what did I use? Because I didn't bring it. The Olay Almond Bar Soap. Then I went in with this body wash that I am obsessed with and I'm down to the last bit of it. This Olay Cleansing and Brightening Body Wash. Yeah, love this stuff, has my skin looking like, I mean, just love it, okay? So I use this. Then I went in with the, 
TPH um, Mandarin and Ginger Good Days uh, Shower Gel. Love this. Love it. I'm going to talk more about that in another video. Then after that, I use, which I forgot to bring up here with me, my um, Johnson & Johnson Almonds body oil that I've been using um, as my first layer of moisturization before I get out of the shower. Then after I get out of the shower, I use the Dove Apple and White Tea deodorant because I'm trying to decide what I feel about this. It is, it's a nice fresh apple and I was going for like a fruity scent. So it was nice, but I just don't know if I love this dry spray yet. I don't know. Then I went in with the Victoria's Secret Tropical Spritz uh, Body Lotion and Mist. This is what I've been wearing. It's a very fruity, floral, tropical, summer casual type of fragrance mist set. And for the perfume, I use my I almost said Dolce and Cabana Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Soiree perfume. This is a very fruity, shampooy, tropical, musky version of the original Viva La Juicy. Perfect for summer, perfect for casual when you're not trying to do the most. I use this because it's in my project, use it up, and I have been enjoying it. But I wanted to add another layer to it. Late. I don't, I don't know. I, was, I just wanted a little bit more because that's been my go-to lately. So I decided to also pair Sky DeJoya from Armani. This is a very girly, sweet, floral, fruity fragrance that made this whole combo just smell kind of... It was sweet, candy, tropical summary and i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed that combo and then on my clothes along with the tropical spritz from victoria's secret i also sprayed um rule breaker pink sugar plus living your truth this is a very this gives that sweet take that i'm missing from the tropical spritz so i wanted to add some sweetness and it's like a sweet fresh scent so that smells really good on my clothes mixed with tropical spritz so that's what i was smelling like y'all for my final haul for the semi-annual sale. If y'all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me, are you over the sale? Do you need a break from Bath & Body Works? Like I be needing a break after the semi-annual sale? Let me know. I'm curious to know y'all because yes, I don't even wanna go return, you know, maybe that sun kiss, maybe that lanyard. I, I just don't even wanna go. So I don't know. It might go on the table of if somebody wants it. I'm gonna have to decide is almost four dollars or if I take the miss back, uh, you know, about eight dollars or six or seven dollars. So I really wanna go in there. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So please share this video with everyone who has enjoyed the semi annual sale as much as we all have. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.